In today's video, we're going to be going over the signs and real symptoms of a bad track bar. And uh, this should hopefully help you to determine whether you have a failing track bar or if you have something else going on in your steering and your suspension. Um, we're going to be going over some real world examples. I'm going to be showing you in my own vehicle uh, what that looks like and then what the fix is to be able to correct that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get into the video. Before we get into the first point, I just wanted to start off by saying uh, I've had a completely failed track bar, uh, which results in having death wobble, if you've ever heard that term before. Uh, death wobble is where uh, you have no control over the front end, and uh, it's very scary. It's called death wobble because I, I believe people have died from this. Um, where the front end just goes crazy. The, the axle is swaying back and forth rapidly while your frame is opposite of it. So literally it's beating each other to death and all the other components. But uh, death wobble is a result of a completely failed track bar. Uh, so I've gone through that myself. I've been able to correct it. Uh, I've not had a problem uh, after correcting those things. So just wanted to share that with you before uh, death wobble is not a, you know, sell your truck because it's the end of the world. Uh, it can be fixed. It needs to be properly diagnosed. But uh, being able to uh, address the track bar is the first step in kind of hunting those things down. So uh, we'll get into the first step now. So the first thing to determine whether you have a bad or failing track bar is going to be uh, first off, the vi feeling of vibration in your steering wheel. Uh, if you have vibration in your steering wheel uh, after you hit a bump, uh, if you hit a pothole, uh, if you had anything in the road that would uh, maneuver the, the tires, that would, uh, it would mess things up, uh, vibration in your steering wheel is going to be one of the first indications. And it might start off very subtly. It might just be just a, a little bit of shaking, wobbling back and forth in the wheel, and then it, it evens out. Uh, what that is, is most likely the bushings in the track bar, they're absorbing the pressure back and forth, which means something's loose or, uh, or the bushings are failing in the track bar itself. Uh, so the vibration in your steering wheel is gonna be the first indication if you have a failing track bar uh, the first time I had a tr uh, failing track bar was over 200 and f uh, 260,000 miles. But long before that, the symptoms started with the vibration in my steering wheel. I, I didn't know what I was doing at the time, but uh, that steering wheel was vibrating back and forth uh, as well as just micro vibrations. Um, but I would hit bumps, I would hit potholes, I would hit debris in the road or something. and. Uh, I would feel that more and more, and this is the first step into uh, seeing if you have a uh, failing track bar, a bad track bar. All right, so the second uh, symptom of a bad track bar is gonna be the vehicle drives loose. Uh, when you turn the wheel to the right, it's gonna be almost like a little delay. Uh, when you turn the vehicle to the left, it's gonna be a little delay. Uh, what's happening underneath that is when you turn the wheel to the right, the pitman arm moves, the steering linkage moves, but the axle itself, because your track bar is holding your axle to the frame, when you turn the wheel and all the steering linkage turns the way it's supposed to, your axle itself is loose and so it's going to be shifting with it. So as your tires are turning left or right, your axle is going to be swaying back and forth, very small uh, to begin with, but uh, when, you're, when your vehicle is driving loose, this could be a symptom of you having a failing or a bad track bar on its way out. Uh, because when you're turning the wheel left or right, it, uh, in, in bigger trucks and these things, uh, it's not gonna be an absolute you know, hairpin turn, but you shouldn't be having a delay where you turn the wheel to the left and then a second or two seconds later, oh, it's here. That's the axle catching up with it because the track bar is, is the bushings are taking a beating back and forth and the axle itself has to catch up 
with where you're supposed to be. So uh, driving uh, a loose vehicle is another symptom, um, or the vehicle driving loose, I'm sorry, uh, is another symptom of having uh, a bad track bar. The third sign or symptom uh, of a bad track bar uh, is going to be hearing noises from under the front end. Uh, there's noises uh, potentially everywhere on your vehicle, uh, so it's, uh, it's not a, uh, well, if you hear anything at all, it's got to be the track bar. No, 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 no. Uh, there are noises for just about everything. Um, but when you're hearing noises like a popping sound, a, a loud popping sound, um, that may be an indication that uh, on your track bar uh, you have a bolt on one end and a bolt on another and there's bushings that the bolt goes through and then if that bolt is loose or it's going through the frame or it's going through the axle uh, and it's hold on, held on there by the nut, uh, if those are loose, your track bar could be popping back and forth really uh, creating a, uh, a wedge, really digging itself into the bolt hole where it goes through. Uh, you could be wearing out the bracket that actually holds your track bar from one end to the other. So when you hear noises from under the front end, try to be very, very uh, meticulous in listening to what you're, what are you actually hearing? And are you hearing it on the left side? Could that be where the frame connects to the track bar? Is it popping up there? Maybe that needs to be tightened up. Uh, maybe it's shifting around or maybe it's too late and you need to uh, be able to deal with that uh, and have somebody uh, manufacture something to, to be able to fill in that gap where it's created. Uh, or maybe it's on the right side. Uh, maybe, it's, maybe you hear it popping, on the, maybe it's on the bottom, maybe that's loose. Uh, so hearing noises on the front end is another indication, another symptom of your track bar going bad. It, it, it could be that it's already loose, it's already too late, you need to be uh, having that really taken care of uh, professionally or uh, possibly uh, things, the bushings are just uh, wore out and you hear the whole thing just sliding back and forth inside there. Uh, so this would be another uh, sign or symptom of a bad track bar, hearing noises. All right, so the fourth step in seeing whether you have uh, a bad or failing track bar uh, would be the wobbling at high speeds. Uh, when I say this, uh, I'm really meaning two levels of this. So uh, when, when you're uh, going 60 miles an hour, you're going 70 miles an hour on the highway, uh, and you hit a bump, you hit a crack, uh, you hit a pothole because there's many potholes uh, out on the highway. Uh, when you're uh, when you're hitting that and then immediately after is really what I'm looking at is you may be experiencing a, a wobbling where literally it's almost as if as soon as you hit that bump your tires turn to the left or to the right and so as soon as you come up off of that bump you're almost going in a different direction before where you were just going down straight down the road you might literally be aiming off to the right to the left uh, so wobbling at high speeds, that's really the, uh, the f it's more severe uh, of a case of a failing track bar. Uh, so uh, the end result of that type of wobbling, uh, where it feels, you can almost just feel it, you can see it in your mind, where literally the tires are just going like this back and forth after you hit a bump, and it's trying to recover. Uh, that's a serious uh, serious sign and symptom of a failing track bar and really the end is kind of near. Uh, you are, you are uh, depending on uh, how you drive, where you're driving, how fast you're driving, um, how much wear and tear you're putting on your track bar, uh, on your vehicle, how hard you are, uh, death wobble is, is kind of imminent. Uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's the end result. The bushings are are going to be completely toast. Uh, this is this is towards the end. Uh, I started with number one being vibration, then two, driving loose, hearing noises, and then the actual wobbling. When you get down to the wobbling at high speeds, uh, could even be you know as low as 40 miles an hour. You can feel that. Uh, actually, I felt it before. Um, your your bushings and your track bar 
um, are, are, are to the end. Um, uh, there's not much, much time left, and you need to get that dealt with as soon as you can, really. Um, the, uh, the wobbling, uh, when, it, when it turns, if, if you've never had death wobble before, uh, death wobble, when it happens, normally you can't stop it. So the tires are going back and forth as your axle and your frame are beating up against each other because the track bar has failed. That It's the closest thing to each other. And so it's the one that's keeping everything straight and narrow down the road. And so when it fails, your axle and your frame are beating back and forth. And the track bar, once it fails, it's going to continue to fail. When it failed for me, uh, I was going down the road at highway speeds, it failed. I had to come almost to a complete stop on the highway. Uh, I, I nearly almost died because other people were diving off and di you know, trying to get away. I couldn't control my vehicle at all. Uh, I was, uh, there was just nothing. I came to almost complete stop as soon as I could. I got off the road on the shoulder, caught my breath, uh, thanked God for my life. Um, <laughs> It, it's just crazy. So um, when you get to this wobbling point, it's, it's really the danger zone that has just peaked. Uh, you, you are just uh, very close um, from getting death wobble and possibly having a, a life, uh, a life ending uh, part failure. Um, so uh, this is another sign and symptom, uh, kind of almost in progression as it gets worse, you go down the line. Uh, you'll still feel the vibration in the steering wheel. You'll still feel it just kind of builds on itself. Uh, it gets slowly, slowly, and slowly worse. So uh, these things uh, are uh, some things to look out for if you've already, already experienced them. Uh, if, you, um, if you think you're feeling maybe, oh, I feel the vibration and I hear the noises, but no wobbling. Uh, it doesn't drive loose at all. Well, maybe that's something else. Maybe that's another component that uh, you need to look into uh, for that. What would what would that look like if that failed? If uh, something else were to be going wrong? So uh, we're going to now going to be looking at some real world um, uh, obvious pictures and of of a failed uh, track bar. I'm going to show you a few things on my vehicle. Uh, it did fail, and so uh, some very clear. Uh, these these are just things to think about. But things you can go out and look at, uh, that's where we're going to get we're going to get into that right now. So as you can see in the center, uh, the bolt goes through from left to right, and then it's got the bracket, and then in the middle, that's where the bushing is for the actual track bar, the track bar bushing. And so you can see as you keep going along, the bushing is actually actually rocking back and forth. Uh, it's so violent that the whole frame is actually shaking. Uh, back and forth. That's a major indication that your track bar bushing is failed. All right, so to be able to help us understand what's really going on here, uh, I, I did my best. Uh, I cannot draw to save my life, but uh, this is what I came up with. Uh, this is the uh, this is to represent the uh, the actual frame of the truck, and then this is the axle. Uh, so what you just saw was the top where the, the frame is holding the bolt uh, going through the bushing into a nut and uh, as you could see the nut was tight on there but the bushing was moving which then allowed the track bar to be free uh, and that's a problem so uh, so right here we saw that by the truck shaking back and forth and the wheels turning left to right, uh, this bushing has failed. Um, the bolt has been tightly secured on there and yet uh, we can see and feel that there's a problem with the top bushing on the track bar. Uh, next, we're gonna be looking at the bottom uh, bushing and see if there's any play in that. And again, uh, on the right side, the passenger side, uh, we see that the bushing inside is completely, you know, destroyed. Um, the uh, track bar is rocking back and forth. 
it is not secure. There shouldn't be really any movement at all. So that's the problem. All right, so we just saw the bottom side where it's actually on the axle. So the, the bolt and the bushing on the track bar that's holding on to the axle, that had some slight movement, but uh, so that's down here, but it wasn't as bad as the one up here. So both bushings on this track bar have failed. Uh, there shouldn't be any movement at all. Um, so uh, this is gonna need to be replaced on my vehicle. Uh, if you're able to, literally I just set the camera up, go rock the, the uh, steering wheel back and forth, and if you are able to uh, to actually see movement on these bushings, the, the track bar either moving itself and the bushing staying the same or the bushing sliding back and forth with it, um, that's a problem. So uh, this would be the real world picture of what you're needing to look for uh, on your vehicle if it has a straight axle and you have a track bar going across like that. Um, th these are the two places you're going to want to look. This is looking at the front of the vehicle so your, your driver's side is up top and your passenger side is down below so uh, this would be uh, the picture of what your truck your vehicle would look like uh, if you have a failing track bar the bushings that have failed so up next uh, we're going to have another real world picture of what uh, what it looks like for a track bar to fail this is probably again one of the easiest just to just to find out yourself just to look yourself uh, you don't need any tools or anybody else to, to help you. Uh, but literally just to turn the wheel back and forth and uh, without having to look down inside here to see if the bushings are moving around or if you don't have a phone or something to, to be able to capture that, that video that happening while you're turning the wheel. Uh, what you can do is just turn the wheel and depending on how severe it is, uh, the whole cab, because it's on the frame and the frame is wobbling, right? back and forth potentially, if you're turning the wheel back and forth and your whole frame, the whole cab is literally rocking back and forth, that's a for sure sign that your track bar has failed or it's, it's near fail, failure. Uh, so we'll go ahead and show that video right now and uh, we'll get back. So again here, we're able to see the whole cab is actually floating back and forth uh, with the track bar not actually being secured uh, by those bushings. So this is another way to find out whether you have a bad track bar or not. All right, so if you've gone through all those signs and symptoms, uh, maybe you even did the wheel back and forth, you feel the rocking of the vehicle, uh, you took a video, you saw the bushings sliding back and forth, it's just beat up, it's toast. Uh, the part has failed, the track bar bushings have failed, um, you're wondering, what do I do next? What do I have to do uh, to get this corrected? Uh, so for me, what I have done after my stock track bar failed uh, was I ran uh, Moog parts. Uh, I started replacing my parts with Moog. And uh, I can tell you uh, the Moog bushings uh, that I have used and experienced so far uh, they, they have let me down each time. Uh, Moog parts, I've gotten probably the cheapest on the market. And uh, if the name of the game is cheap and you, uh, you understand it's not going to last and it's going to be fairly poor quality uh, just to get you by, then okay. Uh, but for me, I, I've done this several times now with the Moog track bar and uh, I've been uh, let down every time. and. Uh, really just try to get by with it. It's a uh, cheap design. Um, I, uh, I've just been, I can't say it enough, but I've just been let down uh, by Moog. And so uh, I, I had this just to, uh, as a remembrance of what, what's gone on with uh, my failed Moog parts that have gotten me death wobble uh, before or near, near to death wobble other times. Um, I keep this around just as a reminder, but uh, for me, uh, I'm done with Moog, I'm done with cheaping out, uh, getting poor quality, and, and not knowing when the ticking time bomb is going to blow. Uh, so for me, what I've done is uh, I have gotten uh, a new track bar 
uh, by Synergy MFG, Synergy Manufacturing. And uh, this company, uh, I've looked them up online, uh, I've done quite a bit of research, gone through uh, how they built their track bar, what they've done to it, uh, how they've designed it. And uh, I'm very pleased with what I've seen, what I've heard. And uh, I'm gonna be trying these guys out for the first time. And uh, I'm gonna be going with them. Um, they, uh, they are, I believe, just a quality company. Um, uh, been able to talk with one of the guys on the phone and uh, kind of go through uh, things for me. Wasn't trying to oversell or hype himself up uh, just to get a sale. These people actually care about what they do. They're knowledgeable. They know what they're doing, how they're doing it, why they're doing it. And uh, I'm just very pleased with these guys. They're, it's made in the USA. Um, uh, I'm just very grateful to, uh, to have these guys. And uh, I'm hoping this is gonna be a uh, long lasting track bar. And I can't wait to put this on. Uh, to fix my track bar issues. So uh, this is what I'm going to be doing here in the future. Uh, but for you, you've got to ask yourself, what are you going to do uh, if you have a bad track bar? Um, are you going to put stock back on? Are you going to try to upgrade to something a little bit better? Are you going to cheap out? Uh, I would just advise you don't do that. Um, uh, I would go for a better quality, a better uh, performing company. Uh, that actually is invested in what they're actually doing. They're sold out for it, and uh, they're not just trying to sell you. And so um, I'm going to be doing that. Uh, I'm going to be making a video on how to install your track bar next. I'll be having a link uh, pop up here uh, for how to install your track bar, how to pull off the old one, put the new one on. Um, this is a, a fairly uh, easy uh, setup. If, as long as you do it right. Uh, it's two bolts, one up here that goes to the frame, one down here that goes to the axle, and uh, I'm gonna be uh, installing that shortly here, and uh, hopefully have that up uh, in the link as well for you. So um, again, if you, <clears throat> if you wanna do what I'm gonna be doing uh, with the Synergy M MFG uh, manufacturing, um, I'm gonna be uh, putting that link in the description below as well, so you can get this uh, with what I'm going to be doing um, And uh, I believe this is going to be the next kind of level up uh, For my front end uh, to actually keep my front end secure straight in line uh, And do what the track bar actually is supposed to do keep you in track So uh, this will wrap up the video for today. I uh, hope you were having a great day Hope this was a help to you if it was uh, consider subscribing uh, hit the like button, uh, leave a comment down below, let me know if this was helpful, if, uh, if you want to make fun of my drawing, that's fine, uh, anything you want to say, I uh, appreciate any comments you have, and I hope you're doing well, be safe out there, uh, get this taken care of, please, uh, be safe out on the road, please, 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 and uh, we'll talk to you later, have a good day.